The devil's breath put 20,000 people to sleep, and they never woke up. Cameroon, August 21st, 1986. Lake Nile sat silent in a volcanic crater. Villagers lived on its shores for generations. That night, the lake burnt. A cloud of carbon dioxide erupted from the water, invisible, odorless, heavier than air. It rolled down the valleys like a silent wave. The gas displaced all the oxygen. People dropped mid-sentence. Families died in their beds without waiting. A man rode his bicycle into the cloud and fell instantly. 1,746 people suffocated in the 3,500 livestock collapsed in the field. Survivors described walking through villages filled with bodies, no news, no struggle, just stillness. Scientists arrived days later. They found the lake had turned deep red. The carbon dioxide had been building in volcanic waters for decades. Pressure, waiting. One geological shift triggered the release. Here's the disturbing part. Lake Nios is still dangerous. They installed degassing pipes, but two other lakes have the same risk. Thousands live nearby. The earth doesn't warn you. It doesn't care about timing. Nature's most terrifying disasters aren't the loud ones. They're the ones you never hear coming.